This is the home turf. I'm British, this production was British, it's all British actors. So I'm very much looking forward to the London Film Festival screening. This is an unbelievably fun story about female empowerment, sexual politics, gender politics. Um, I think it's a story about a very powerful woman who stood out from the shadow of a man and uh, lived her truth. May I introduce you to my wife, Colette? You've married a struggling writer. You've married a country girl without a penny to her name. <laughs> We're doomed, aren't we? It's interesting that a story from a hundred years ago about a celebrity couple who um, used their private lives to, for public consumption to create a sensation um, seems like it's very relevant today. I think there's a lot of obstacles being put in people's paths today. A lot of women are speaking up, men are trying to keep them down. And Colette was an example of someone who faced that 100 years ago, who is very relevant to the Time's Up movement and the Me Too movement today. If we're not telling these stories, then people who identify with the characters in these stories can't see themselves. So it's just important to be telling stories of the entire human experience, not just straight white men. You've done something important. All those young girls, you've given them a voice. Somebody told you. I didn't need to be told. Meeting you is enough. He was after you. Your jealousy is misplaced. That was the wife I found interesting. Good writers are pretty rare and we should treasure them. And, uh, and this film is partly about that. It's a solitary profession and if you don't sit down there and put the words on the page, no one's going to do it for you. And I put huge, huge admiration for people who are able to do it. We need more female writers, we need more um, voices that represent different, like a diverse group of people. Um, and it's a way of, of representing society. This was an amazing woman who had intent, immense courage and broke out of everyone's expectations and the limitations put on her by her husband and uh, to become the most famous woman in French literature and, and uh, I think that's uh, inspiring.